That mask. <laughs> that mask is. That mask is doing things that it shouldn't be doing. <laughs> like the bat family tier lists and laughing at different costumes then you're in the right place you have come to the right place if not since there's only so many times i can rate terrible bat family costumes i was a bit stumped you know i looked at my other stuff i was like i really right. want to talk about this more mm -hmm. and i want to mm -hmm. make people mm -hmm. laugh make myself mm -hmm. laugh by finding more but there are not that many more of the same kind i was looking four bars so yeah i was kind of i was just like hmm when i saw that comic con was coming up and of course i wanted to cosplay a bat family member because in the past all i've cosplayed is anime but i was thinking yeah i want to cosplay a bat family member i just need to do it a lot of these cosplays are not what i'd say is a true cosplay of character and design you know what i'm saying there's only some stuff that you could get from a corner shop to make really bad bat family costumes or the ones that you see online in tiktoks and skits that are actually pretty decent and funny but the way that they're used is pretty like unserious you know or it's like for a, a modeling gig so i was thinking surely i could best all the cosplays out there hopefully but the thing is i realized i never could i've never even had the chance to because the best bat family cosplays are already out there that's right you guessed it the live action costumes <laughs> they are the best costumes cosplays you'll ever see okay and yes they are cosplays in my mind all right but just because they are the best because they are the best doesn't mean they're all good and that's what we're here for today i'm going to be looking at every live action adaptation costume design of the bat family members and i mean every i mean i i really i looked and i think i succeeded in finding pretty much every bat family costume design that i could find to see if i maybe had a chance at beating them maybe or at least being as good as the lowest and if you have time check out my description there might be something fun down there for you to do i hope you can't hear the fan i don't think you can it's on though because it is a bit hot by every i mean i'm not i'm not 100 percent certain but i'm 98 percent certain i've got every single adaptation to date 2024 to date i'm telling you <laughs> The key. Nor et al. in 2015 conducted a loosely defined explorative study which investigated university students' preferences in clothing. They found that their preferences were largely influenced by a desire for comfort and adherence to perceived norms. So here's my key. I have some model costumes here for Batgirl, for Robin, for Batman, for Leslie, for Lucas, and for Alfred. And I'm going to be asking myself, is this costume comfortable and does it adhere to the model costumes that i think are ideal the ones that i would actually want to cosplay now the tier list the main part of the video the actual fun part is here finally oh my god i am ready i just want to jump right in so okay, this is going to be linked down below as well because i always like doing that just in case you want to play along and also i made this it took me actually ages and so i want to make sure that there's some use out of it not just for the video if you understand what i'm saying anyways let us start so which character first well you know what let's go through lucas first this is what he looks like in batwoman obviously young i'm gonna bear in mind that he's supposed to be young i think he dies or something in this uh according to what i just saw i don't mind it i'm quite indifferent to this one i think this is fine i'd say wait maybe like as in it's fine i don't think it's good because i don't think it suits lately but yeah then we've got morgan freeman a lot of people think this is the best lucas fox in like live action i think i agree i think he's got it going on i didn't really describe why i didn't really love the last one but because i didn't really know how to but with this one it's easy to know why i like it like he's older he looks rugged like lucas fox just in case anybody doesn't know is a character who is part of the tech side of the business he yeah he looks like a tech guy he looks like he's sure and experienced like what i think he should look like i have nothing to say i think that's a good cosplay and i if i was trying to do lucas fox that would be the one that i would be trying to be and then we have this one which i'm not a hundred percent sold on it's fresher the graphics are better he's younger so again i'm i'm having to adhere to the fact that he's younger but i don't really like his expression 
I think I would have preferred a more easier expression. I just don't fully love it. So I'm probably gonna put it in I'm not feeling this and go from there. Let's see, Leslie. This one came out first in 2014. I, I don't mind it. I don't, but I'm not like a fan. I think it's too sexy. I'm not feeling it. This one is like, it's just not the right vibe. And then we have the Titans one, which I think is better. Definitely a better vibe. Definitely a better vibe. And honestly, I think this is really good for a young Leslie. But she got the whole, I'm a doctor, listen to me. She got the whole, well, I'll deal with what you're saying, Bruce. Cause she's like kind of like a guardian in a sense, as well as his doctor. I really do like this vibe. I just, I can't explain. I just feel like it really works. Next, let me think. I didn't realize that was supposed to be Alfred. I literally was like, oh, who's that? It's Douglas Hodges, Alfred in Joker. What on earth were they thinking with this casting? No shade to the actor no shade to the actor literally no shade only light <laughs> but this casting what ew this is so wrong you know what i mean like i literally thought this was another character who thought this was alfred it's the facial hair it's the face structure it's the hair <laughs> okay the vibe isn't that bad but the features just 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 not the just the wrong guy like it's not even like oh like he should have had more of this he should have it's just the wrong guy that was a shambles get help maybe what were you thinking i'm not angry so maybe what were you thinking because like i don't i don't know what they were thinking i don't know what they were trying to think with that one like did they think they popped off they didn't <laughs> next is alfred wilton as alfred again this alfred doesn't look like this with the other one at least he had the facial expression i feel like alfred would make with this one he looks super meek like not like he's gonna stand up for himself and super old and like i mean fine obviously alfred's old and you know he ages and the outfit is is pretty all right it's a decent butler outfit not ideal not what i would imagine or love for him but it's all right this guy has massive ears by the way like again no shade no shade but your ears fam are enormous I, I don't think it suits alfred's character i can't lie to you and the shape of his head is tiny it's so small so circular alfred i feel like has a longer longer head so yeah that one i don't know they just got a random old guy and they thought yeah that's the guy and it's like oh, oh, I, I don't, um, i'm not sold i'm not okay next ian abercrombie okay in birds of prey better but not there but better maybe he's got too much of a double chin don't really think alfred needs glasses either not a hundred percent sure why they added glasses do you like this suit do you like the fact that he's holding up a tea really good you know he's a brit like me i just rhymed again like seriously straight bars today it's like i'm going to jail <laughs> i yeah i'm i i do like him except from the fact that i think his face is slightly off from what i would assume or think of alfred to look like i don't mind it i think it's good i think i think it's it's good yeah bear in mind i will reshuffle these later on um this one is definitely not a good but it might be a maybe because i don't like it in a sense that i think the hair is wrong again glasses especially those glasses i can't imagine a universe where alfred would wear glasses like that i also don't really like the jacket that much but i can imagine alfred wearing a jacket just maybe not green he just doesn't look very butlery and that's a bit of a miss i think his facial structure is good for alfred just doesn't really look like the part do you know like the vibe is a bit too rugged for alfred not put together enough so i'll put him in wait maybe then he's in what is this pennyworth or gotham he, he's this is the younger alfred i like the fact that he has a receding hairline which is kind of funny but you know in a very sick way <laughs> but i think it works i think alfred should always have a receding hairline it just makes him look like alfred i think the head shape is good i think his expression and hair doesn't suit the outfit's not really my favorite but at the same time for a young alfred i actually think it works maybe not the blue part of it but just the outfit itself i do like it for him so for that one i'm saying wait maybe then we got this one just no not it's not that it's it's not the same guy the, the, it's not it's it's just just stop do you know what i mean like stop no <laughs> the receding hairline is 
it's okay. I think that that part of it is pretty good. But everything else sucks. He looks like like a, a cop. I, I seriously can't see this. Like this is nothing. Nowhere near Alfred. Like I, I'm not feeling this. I don't want to say what are you thinking, but I'm going to say what were you thinking. This one, I saw him acting and I don't want that to bias me because this isn't about the acting, it's about the straight costume, straight design, straight look of the character. But as an actor, I think he did Alfred pretty decently. <laughs> so, I don't know. I think his face doesn't suit either. But like the hair, facial hair as well. No, his chin and his uh, suit, not really f okay. They, he kind of looks like a nurse rather than a butler. He doesn't look very professional, kind of rugged. I'm not a huge fan of that one. I think I'm gonna put that in i'm not feeling this maybe what were you thinking because it's very similar i think i'm just being biased maybe because of his beard i'll keep him in what were you thinking this one in the dark knight was pretty good as well michael kane i think this alfred is very very solid i don't think it's perfect i think there's still room to grow the chin the shoulders the outfit but i just think that the vibe is Mwah, it's spot on so all in all michael crane i think is definitely a good alfred i though i don't i maybe wait maybe though because like he yeah he's good but i just ah uh, this uh, for me something's missing uh i think there's three more alfreds left i'm not a huge fan but i think from the side he looks all right let me see william austin this is one of the times i actually might google someone i think he's all right actually and then if you see him here in his pictures i think the outfit's good he definitely looks like the outfit looks better like more professional and he looks tall and leith he looks like this you know what he actually does look really much like alfred i think if this guy had the physique that this guy had he'd be absolutely perfect like it'd be above it's good for me so for now yeah i'll give that a, a, a it's good then we have this alfred now he looks a bit like jim for me with the smile the fact that he's taller than bruce is a bit weird again to me but i do like it it's kind of cute in a way why does this give me weird feelings maybe because it's in color <laughs> don't really like glasses but i guess it's good i guess okay there's no real reason that i don't want it to put it like at the top so i'll leave it there because it's not like it's good it doesn't mean it's perfect it just means it's good i think it might just be the fact that he's taller than him that's bothering me because outside of that there's nothing else that is a problem really like master wayne i can see him saying master bruce or master wayne and everything maybe the hair is very bright but i like his position here as well his pose and his outfit is very put together it's very i think this is probably the best outfit we've had it's more butler like because it comes down a bit further okay and then last but not least is alfred played by michael goff which is uh, it's also okay the the thing that's messy for me at least it looks messy to me but his face is pretty okay i think he's got that kind of um sick of this guy's shit <laughs> kind of look which I do, I do like honestly actually I do like that one I think the features are a bit big bigger than I'd expect but that is a good face for Alfred so I'll give that and it's good as well okay let's go with Babs then then we'll go with the Robins and then we'll go with Bruce so Babs um we have this Babs one that, well she's not actually the Babs we know she is Barbara oh what was it wes or something and she is alfred's niece she doesn't really look very bat girly she looks like stephanie kind of uh i think she could look more bat girly she could the mask is a bit weird because it's white but that was kind of a vibe it reminds me of like those x-men movies or those those fantastic four like she looks like she's in fantastic four it doesn't look that bat girly because a lot of bat girls have a cow or a half cow and i think that that would have made it look a bit better she doesn't look awful though so i guess i'll put her in wait maybe oracle so we've got babs in a wheelchair i do like this i wish she had shorter hair here i wish her arms were really bulky i don't know if it's a head cannon but my picture of babs is in a wheelchair with fucking dense arms and also for her to have short hair to the shoulders and also have glasses as well wearing green i just that's my oracle and the fact that she doesn't look like that it's kind of annoying so i don't know but it's definitely not awful like it's definitely up there she looks like babs in a way 
but also kind of looks like Mary Jane. <laughs> so I don't know. I'll put it in wait maybe for now. This next one, I don't think is Babs at all to me. But yeah, this is not exactly what, who I would see as Babs, even as an adult. Maybe because of the length of the hair, maybe because of the facial expression, maybe because of the necklace. I don't really see Babs wearing something so old style. I don't think Babs is as new style as Stephanie or Tim or Cass might have, but I think Babs would have a more younger style. Like here she looks like really, really old. So yeah, so she was 33. Okay, so maybe I was wrong. She, to me, she looks a bit older than that. But actually, the age-wise, she is the right age then in this casting. I just don't think she looks the right age, which is kind of sad and mean. But um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just not a hundred. I'm just not. I'm just not feeling it. Maybe it's the expression as well. I'm just not feeling it. Okay, the classic Babs. Let's finish it with the classic Babs then unfortunate this is a classic bat girl so i know that a lot of people have a lot of opinions about this one it's the one in adam west's uh batman series with Burt ward and the alfred and whatever and i do like her but i will say she doesn't look good i really like the feeling this gives me but this outfit is actually really bad <laughs> she just looks really really tacky i mean it's just terrible The colors are are off. They're just too extreme. The sparkliness of her outfit is just disgusting. The fact that her cowl is separate by different colors is really fucking annoying. Even if you had to separate them from seams, that's one thing. But separating them by color is like, oh my god, what were you thinking? Like, I don't really love the fact that she has a yellow cape. I don't know what to do because I like the vibe, but even the personality for Babs is a bit too excitable. I feel like she should be more teenager, whereas when she was there, she was quite adult, and I don't like the adult version of Babs. It's not really my idea of it. I don't know. I'll put okay. I'll put it in. I'm not feeling this. Yes, I'm being a bit biased, but what can you do? Okay. Anyways, so next is Stephanie. Don't know why the actress playing Stephanie doesn't have blonde hair. I feel like this is, you know, you had one job and she doesn't have blonde hair. I, I, what, what do you want from me? I, I don't understand why they chose this. I don't even like the casting because I think Stephanie is quite bold. Because Stephanie is very, very sure of herself. Stephanie knows what her worth is, even though she would like to fit in the bats because that's who inspired her to do it. But they're not necessarily accepting her. So she's been forced to have a little bit of a backbone. And that's a part of her character. Whereas this girl feels a bit too meek for that. She feels like, ah, would you really want to accept me? Like, you won't accept me. Like, that's the kind of vibe this girl has i'm not a huge fan of this like the stephanie brown in batwoman uh next is the robin the carrie i don't really know much about carrie kelly i know that she's this brunette robin in a universe i don't remember i don't know so i'm just super indifferent i'm not feeling him drake as well it's the same thing i also don't really think that he is very like he suits the vibe of robin or like sorry tim drake that well i think he's all right i've seen like a clip or so of him i th i think he's i think he's somewhat good but i don't really see tim as a i think see tim as a a badass but not in a, a bold way like not in a yeah i'm a badass but in a way of like i'm just not gonna back down but i don't see tim having such an expression like this like i just this guy stalked bruce since he was a child i don't know i guess the titans story is different though so it is what it is but i don't i'm not i don't like that so i'm not feeling this and more importantly the outfit the outfit which is too much too excessive different materials are just ugh. like i said i'm not feeling it okay so the dark knight decided like the Dark Knight Rises, at least, the movie team, decided to not have a Robin, but have an older sidekick, apparently, called John Blake, who is like Robin-ish. I, th I, th I think you know where I'm putting him. Honestly, get help. I rewatched The Dark Knight and Batman Begins. I didn't rewatch Dark Knight Rises. Like, I understand that movies need to make money. And that they're scared and a lot of the movie audience is either babies like the babies who watched lego batman including me and baby or the adults the man children who are like ah oh, my pure batman it can only be crime and sex and money and it's like you don't want to see him be a father like are you scared to see him be a dad so to add an adult grown robin-esque type 
character an oc is like insane to me when you had so many other characters to play with it was same with the way that they added a new barbara like whereas john blake is just a guy i don't i don't know oh he's just a police officer you could have just taken the character from the comic because because chances are the character from the comics is gonna be more interesting than your oc who you've just written for a movie like just don't bother like get help like literally get help and then there's stephanie brown as robin again she's still again casting's wrong hair is right kind of looks like she's a brunette and then she dyed her hair um blonde but at least her hair is blonde my problem is though is that her face and her expression and her vibe is not not the vibe like she should be bold you know maybe she was shocked just then so i don't know i'm, I'm not i'm not really feeling it but i mean she does have blonde hair i don't know but still i don't mind it that that much she looks all right and then we have eminem so when i was looking on the robin wiki i was like looking for every robin uh which existed robin and other media and a music video came up and i was like what the <laughs> i was like okay he did batman and robin and blade so yeah i don't i mean let's watch the video i i i, I want to watch the video i've not seen this video before if it wasn't obvious a billion views wow i might have heard this song Ew, she just spat nasty <laughs> not the wedgie i hate that domino mask though yeah i've heard this hook the elvis they said other characters. I hope they weren't meaning Elvis. <laughs> like Elvis, the character from that show. Real life, maybe? <laughs> like, oh my, could you stop with that shot? <laughs> it's like, I didn't, I don't need to see it. I'm okay. I am. Must use powers. That made no sense. Robin doesn't have powers, but it says an E to be fair. So he's not Robin, he's Eminem. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the Robin. <laughs> so it, ca it came up on the wiki, so I thought, why not include it? <laughs> But if I went down the rabbit hole of all of those, it would be a big rabbit hole. So I guess this is just representing all of the music videos that could be existing. So for Robin, because we're doing Robin, I guess so. Uh, <laughs> I'm not feeling it, uh, even though I really like it. It's funny as a joke though. For Jason, I really liked his Jason and I'm not really feeling his Red Hood. <laughs> I knew immediately because I have contemplated this a lot. I mean, I could show you, but you're going to agree with me probably. Like he, the Jason in Titans. Like I think he does a good like Jason. Uh, a bit emo, a bit annoying, a bit bold, a bit, you know, insecure, but cute, wants approval in that really sweet, aggressive way. But he never crosses like the line, I feel like. Uh, maybe in Titans he does like once or twice, but not really as a character. So I think that this guy represents that innocence very well, uh, especially as teenagers. I think I feel like he was he's a bit softer when he was a child even though he was very defensive and then the red hood I think he's okay but he should have been bigger cooler like he should have been his head should have been up here so he should just have natural big pecs that are a bit bigger than that it kind of looks like boobs here I do like the thing I think the, the costume is actually really solid like the the filters the head but I don't know actually because I feel like he doesn't suit the fit but the actual costume design especially for the only red hood so far adaptation we've gotten it's really good like even the fact that the jacket is brown it's the wrong brown and it's too dark and the red is not necessary but i actually really like it the more i look at it the more i'm like yeah this is wait maybe yeah because even though the shoulders are like he's too small and i feel like he doesn't have that voice like jensen ackles who oh, just killed jason in the movie he's still really good so i don't know i'll keep him like that now let's get to the main two people you've been waiting for the most i've definitely have been they are dick grayson and bruce wayne so let's start with dick grayson so this guy chris o'neill 1995 he certainly wasn't the first one but this is not in chronological order so we're just gonna go through this order <laughs> randomly yeah i i do like it the nipples need to go they need to disappear the who decided the nipples were supposed to be there also the fact that it's so so metallic is is jarring it is quite jarring i will say the mask here and here is much better than the first one they're smaller and more sleek and nice don't like that he has a cape really not a fan maybe that was the design in the comics at the time though i don't know regardless it's okay the actor's good wish he had more hair definitely should have had more hair yeah it's fine and the vibe of him is good as well i think he gives a good dick vibe like a little smile the youth of dick grayson in these outfits a teenage robin and a night two nightwing outfits i i don't know how to feel 
Wait, maybe because I just I really like the actor's vibe. Doug Douglas Croft. <laughs> that mask. <laughs> that mask is. That mask is doing things that it shouldn't be doing. <laughs> That's a big mask, and there's no space for his eyes. Which I've never. I've, I've always preferred visors, but when it's a mask like this and you don't want to put white visors, then don't fill it in. Like this is giving me something in the way. Like, this is giving me Robert Pattinson. Let's see what the full outfit looked like. So we got we got the pixie things. They're not scaly, which is a missed opportunity. But we got the light cape as well i think it his legs being out it's all good yeah the outfit is is fine ish it's just uh, it's that mask that i that mask is so bad that is a terrible that that is that's vile dude i do like the costume the hair is a bit it's very curly for dick i feel like it's, it's just a bit too curly for him if it wasn't for the mask i would go wait maybe but because of that mask i have to put it i'm not feeling it because that that is just so vile <laughs> let's go with this this uh <laughs> this Robin. Oh, so 1949 and 1949. So same year or same era, essentially, but different Robin. Similar vibe, similar mask. I think the mask is still as bad. A bit worse. You know, the cape is darker, things like that. And the belt is the same, but it's, yeah, it's a bit worse. I'm not sure if I like it. Did they swap the actors out? Because that's what it looks like. <laughs> I I do think it's a bit worse though. I don't know if I'll give it what were you thinking. Maybe I'll give weight maybe for this. Because honestly, it really isn't that bad. I don't know. Okay, this one is classic. This is Burt Ward, right? Burt Ward as Robin is stellar. Like, for, especially for its time. I know we're seeing it in color as well, but just the vibe and like the utility belt is better, the design. I just think like, and the hair, exactly. That's what was missing. I'm gonna give this a top because Burt Ward as Robin is really classic. Like compared to the Batgirl as, as you know, the Batgirl from this era, Burt Ward actually stands the test of time. The mask is kind of shit, but at the same time, like it really is solid. Like I, I think that this this Robin design is almost one for one what we could have in the next The Batman with Robert Pattinson. Like literally, I, I honestly would say it would suit contemporary Batman pretty well and everything. So I, yeah, I do like that. I don't, we don't really need the tights, but I got it because you know shielding the actor's uh, integrity. I put him at the top for for good because he's he's really good. Then we have two more, Dick in Titans as Robin and Dick in Titans as Nightwing. But I just kind of want to separate them because they're different vibes. Same way I separated Jason. Because it's, it's just different. The colors from the Titans is very dark. The arms are shit. The cape is fine because I know you wanted to have a black on there. It's not really Dick Robin. It's more like Tim Robin that has that kind of cape. But, you know, and... Ah... Ah... Oh, oh, yeah. Ah... His hair is good, his domino mask is good, but the Robin colors super, super, super dark. So I'm not really a fan. Nightwing is where he shines. I think this is a good outfit for Nightwing. Oh, he does have the thing on the fingers. Honestly, solid. Like honestly, a solid adaptation, you know? A solid adaptation. Like I think Brenton Foyt is actually pretty good at dick, ex except from the fact that the writing is really sucky. Like outside of that, he's a good dick. Maybe a, a fat ass. <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly think it's pretty solid. I'd, I'd say it's good. So, last but not least, we have Batman. Christian Bale. Let's see. We like, we do like. I don't like the thing around his face, like the way it looks. It's too round for me. It looks kind of like a cat. I don't love the color either. However, I mean, it's it's a solid Batman. It's not amazing, but it's good. I mean, everyone's gonna agree with that. It's, it's good, it's good, it's solid. Next is George Clooney. So another one, What they, they, they're they adding like silver. At least he doesn't have nipples on his. I seriously don't understand why Dick has nipples in this one. But okay. Oh, there's nipples in this one as well, yeah. I don't know, but I do like the, the cow, like the way it looks. I think his chin suits Bruce as well. Like his chin is pretty good for Bruce. This one's very awkward. This one, yeah, the fact that they tried to put paint here as well, but failed is kind of sucky. And, oh yeah, no, I don't like this one at all. Oh, 
the shoulder pad at all. Oh, that's... Oh, that's not... Oh, and the chin is not really great. It's George Clooney, but the way that they emphasize his chin is different in this suit. This one, oh, I do not like this one. I don't know if I want to say get help, but... So then we got the Batman who dies in Gotham Knights, because... Gotham Knights is about him dying. Not much to go off of. His skin looks bare. His chin looks a bit weird. You can't really see his hair. From this angle, but he's in a suit, isn't he, in this pic? Like a, a suit and tie. So let's go with I'm not feeling this because I don't really like that he's in a suit and tie. Kevin, I'm just going to put that in good. I don't even care. I don't care because everything that, even though the suit for Kevin is kind of, I don't know what that is supposed to be. This thing in the back. I just think because it's the goat, I'm going to put him there. And I think he sounds the part. He acts the part. It's just the suit, which he's not really even in. That's not really that amazing, but I'm going to put it in good because of everything else. Um, <laughs> okay, let's go with Robert Patterson. Send me the most recent. We all know what Robert Patterson looked like. We all saw it in the movies. Come on. He was good, I'd say. I wouldn't say amazing because I don't really like the paint around his eyes, but I think the vibe and everything was good for Batman. Like just, just, just really solid for Batman. Batman Val Kilmer, which is again, very metallic. Is this meme? <laughs> yeah. Uh, honestly, I don't mind it. It's another one of those sculpted outfits and the nipples. Oh my God. Who is adding nipples to these outfits? Is it because of comfort? Like, why did you add nipples to it? Oh, it ruined it. You're ruining it. Because I like that and I like that. Oh, because of the outfit, I just, I was like, oh, I'm not feeling it, man. Let's get Van Affleck. He's a, he's a decent Batman. He wasn't amazing. And I just feel like the vibe of him wasn't right either. I think he was too old, too personable, too cute, too like, I'm Batman. Like, too much like that. Like, it's too, too, too innocent. Like, look at his face. He looks surprised and just too, too stocky as well. Too thick, I think. Bruce is a bit, he has a slimmer waist, for instance. Like, I feel like this Batman looks a bit too much. Like, just a lot. Not agile. Like, he, he doesn't strike me as agile. Because Batman is agile as well as thick. You know? Like, it's just... I don't know. So I'm not a huge fan. I think his Bruce is good, but he he just feels a bit old. And then we have Adam West, iconic. And we love Adam West. We do love Adam West. We really do. The vibe is so cute, uh, but I'd rather die than see Batman look like this again. I hate this outfit. <laughs> I love the vibe of him, but not for Batman, like not for Bruce. Like, this is super campy. And the thing is, I think Dick is campy. I just think Bruce is more very emo. Do you know what I mean? And I, I'd, yeah. So as a Bruce, he's all right. As a Batman, he's, it's like the same guy as well like batman's not even looks more he doesn't even look serious or anything it's just it's it's one of those ones where i, I want to say what were you thinking i want to say get help because like i get it because the comics were quite campy but i just feel like for the live action it just he looks like a he looks like a kid he looks like a child it's just i ugh, i don't like it i don't like it it, would, it really breaks my heart though these are where we get a bit trippy these last ones i want <laughs> Maybe like you can see where the inspiration comes from because this guy looks like that guy except from this guy is cute and um, that guy is terrifying. Why is it symmetrical? Do you know what I mean? Like why is it like not straight like this but it's like poking out right? It looks like a demon or a devil's like horns rather than straight up which is more like the cow you know? <laughs> Bruh. Hi, do you need any help? Do you need... <laughs> Hi, I just heard you got robbed. Hi, is there uh, something that I can help you with? <laughs> Penguin, so we meet again, Penguin. <laughs> uh, no, this is diabolical. <laughs> and then the other one, <laughs> just as bad. Lewis actually looks sad. The only good thing about this one is that he has a chin and like maybe the, the, the horns are a bit straight up a bit more. It's not as bad, but it's still just diabolical. It looks like somebody made it at outside, like back, back back home low effort terrible like, i could make something like that easily easily me and my my mom's sewing machine and my mom because <laughs> i can't sew <laughs> oh the colors the cape it looks like plastic bags are in his hands like they look like really like 20 pounds on amazon that's what this looks like like if amazon was open and running on this time it looks like he just got that for 20 bucks they did him dirty dude i can't that's why he's frowning look at him he's actually crying like look at his face he's like why did i take this role why 
I'm the most forgettable Batman, Lewis <laughs> Wilson. Because the thing is, this is the most memorable. Because isn't this the first one? It's terrible, but it's like not not to the same degree, not to the same level. Yeah, it is the penultimate one. They didn't understand the assignment. They thought it was like like a biker Batman, like biker Batman with some weird ass helmet, like cow, with no horns and circular and like he's got biker like leather jacket and hands. This is terrible really it's like really bad like even a teenager or, or a 20 year old like in because this is gotham right so i think bruce is really young even like someone that age would be able to come up with something better like this is just the production team not being able to afford <laughs> horns i guess <laughs> and a better uniform like they thought oh we'll just put him bike again fred did you get some from the back you got some bike bike again you got some biker jackets just give them to him give it to the bruce actor give it to him like i don't know there's nothing there's no fault there's no there's no love there's no thought there's no care same with the last one it's like this is not bruce there, there, there is nothing here that gives me bruce not one little thing he literally wandered out of game of thrones to make it here oh season eight got me on my knees got me shook it up oh <laughs> and he wandered here zoro who i mean who casted him as batman like he literally would have played a better Alfred, which is why I thought I thought he was Alfred. As Alfred, he looks okay. As Bruce, and even the fact that he's smiling like that and like his facial expression, and like the receding hairline, it's like what would what 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 because what, 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 what? you know if Bruce is this old, so maybe like what sixty or something, and Dick was like in his twenties, that means they have a forty-year age gap, whereas canonically they have about fifteen to twenty years age gap. So they added twenty extra years just to get an actor. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking. I don't, they weren't thinking. That's the thing. That's why I say get help because they weren't thinking. <sighs> okay, reshuffling. Last but not least, we're doing reshuffling. Since I haven't watched Gotham Knights, I missed someone and I didn't even know. I missed Harper Rose. She's like a newish member of the Bat family and she looks pretty good here. So I put her in wait maybe. And now I think I have everyone. I think, I hope, let me know. And so those are the ones that I might be able to upstage when I'm trying to cosplay at Comic-Con because they are the worst of the best Bat Family outfits that I could see and find online that have been adapted to live action adaptations. If you like this video, then subscribe. Otherwise, check out my other videos and let me know what you think of the cosplays down below so we can have a conversation in the comments together, a discussion about why half of these should have been pulled and half of these were actual Loki masterpieces in terms of costume design, live action style. And then I take a quick by Jan Yong, Jan Yong, Jan Yong. If any of you ask about if I'm actually going to Comic Con, I'm actually going to cosplay, it's unlikely. But at some point, I will. At some point, I promise you, I will. Probably not this year, though. <laughs> Probably not soon. <laughs> I don't have the funds for that.